Welcome back. All right, allies. Um, this is kind of champion of the parish tribal in a lot of ways. So a lot of these allies happen to be humans. In addition to champion of the parish getting bigger as you play things, how to free blade gets bigger as allies come into play. Kaz, Kaz, Kazandu blade master gets bigger as things come into play. Survivalist gets bigger as things come into play. Battle Singer gives a temporary boost. So basically just a lot of things that add more one counters to everything. And we've got some collected companies and path to exiles kind of kind of tying it all together. Yes, yeah, you can also you can also bump bump an existing deck as well. If you want to bump an existing deck, just let me know which deck you'd like to bump, and I'll get that taken care of for you. Just feel free to let me know in chat here or DM me. Tier threes can bump something by forty points, which is good clean value. That was a great draw. Just replace the one drop that they took away from us. Get that down, please. Please always get a counter. Thank you. Dr. Dre says... So, it looks like they are playing... Mardu Pyromancer most likely. Champion of the Parish looking a little bit awkward here by not triggering the allies. Also, Andu Cleric is our one our one core our one ally that also happens to not be a human. Evening, Erath. Good morning. Wonder if it's possible that I'm supposed to like play a tap plan, play champion there, but like not being able to go two, three next turn kind of sucks or sorry, one, two on my, on my third turn, use my mana efficiently. Happy new year, Kyle. He's dead, Jim. Killing the, uh, I guess this lets them attack is the reason to kill that. Alright, so we had another survivalist. Let's go ahead and go champion into survivalist here. Yeah, hello. This is, this is, this is my job. I treat it, I treat it like my job. Well, it looks like you're still, you're still currently sub wrath so it might not quite be time for you to renew yet. Yeah, this deck, this deck's honestly, so I get that these cards are humans and I like we have Champions of the Parish, but this deck's probably more equatable to Merfolk than it is humans because humans does tend to be a disruptive deck that attacks with creatures, whereas Merfolk is more of a deck that just gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So I think, I think comparing this to Merfolk with Collected Company instead of Aether Vial makes more sense than comparing it directly to humans in a lot of ways. Morning ISB. Morning media. Happy New Year indeed. It looks like they don't have more removal. So no removal is really good for us because it means we're going to get to like put them under like the Triple Abyss pretty quickly, especially if we had a land drop this turn. Hey, Raver. Thanks for the resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back. 
New Year, where's my horse? They must not have flipped the flipped the switch yet. I assumed it was going to flip over on January 1st, but I guess people probably aren't in the office yet. Um... I think I just want a Coco here, because I want to try and get all three of these things big enough to uh, be attacking him profitably here. So ideally, we're going to hit two humans. Evangel's pretty good. So these things enter simultaneously. So I believe I get a lot, a lot of triggers. Are they dead? They might be. They might be close to dead. Because I get to give, I get to give pro red and pro white here, and all of my, all of my things in play are getting too bigger. So I had seven power, and I'm adding six. So I'm hitting them for thirteen. Love me some modern bejimming a old version of your Kiki's Helioth result. Thanks for the biddies. I appreciate it. All right, so let's give pro red. Let's give pro white. Let's say always yes on this. So I'm attacking for nine thirteen here. I'm I'm not aware that there is a Bant humans deck. And like, even if they have like an answer to the Evangel at this point, like the rest of these are just, just all so large that even with making lots of tokens, we should eventually be able to overpower them. I don't have enough experience with this archetype to know if it's just, just a weaker version of another archetype or if it's just different. There's a good chance it's just different. Wait, did they not block the champion of the parish? I like that they didn't block the champion of the bears. They must have just assumed... I, I just kind of glossed over the fact that it wasn't going to have protection. And it definitely... It definitely didn't have protection. They let it hit them, which is funny. All right. So let's path the young pyromancer to get started here and find out what they're doing. It's kind of like forces their hand before I start making decisions. Yep. Because if they have any spells here, they're going to fire them off in response. And, like, we knew they had at least one spell there because they chose not to flashback the Lingering Souls last turn. So, on to Clerics. They'll jump us up some hit points here. So, we have four lethal attackers. Just ship. Plan on playing any more thing bird. I just work out of my out of my deck queue, Dorky Dad. So whatever whatever's in the deck queue we play. Whatever's not, we don't. Good, good simple system. Let's me stay organized. Like removal spell into bedlam. Hope to find another removal spell. We still have three lethal attackers here. They have main deck surgical extraction. Sure, sure you do. So that's their six spells. So they're gonna play a two mana bedlam here, which means they can flash back lingering souls and then not be dead on board. So they have to triple. They have to triple jump block again here. So I can ally encampment. Do I even ally encampment and bounce? There's no reason to, right? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really sure what saves them from this point. It probably involves like removal spell, more removal spells, battle revelers. I'm just gonna hold on to the ally encampment for now because it could save one of my things from a removal spell if they play one next turn.
All right, they've been to Lingering Souls. Oh, they've been to Lingering Souls there. It's probably a start towards uh, having something happen that they want to happen. Put this towards Modern Infect. We'll do F Weasel. Thanks for the biddies. I appreciate it. So they're hoping to hit a, if they hit a basic land here, that does not do it. They're at one. People, people do all sorts of silly things in modern. Like, uh, there are people that like cut Snapcaster Mage from blue white control and we're like playing main deck rest in peace. Just like, you know. Sometimes you just want to get them. Another ally into the battlefield. Each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. That doesn't seem particularly useful. So, like, this is... This is, like, a non-bow. But I feel like... If I have... I feel like if I have rest in peace... I probably don't mind drawing a dead return to the ranks. Because, like, the rest of my deck is, like, really good. You want to bring in ranks and extra cleric? Why? Why? Why are we bringing in clerics and healers? Does that does that make sense? I don't, I'm not sure why that makes sense. You want to cut champion of the parish? I think I think I definitely cut envoy before I cut champion because like actually yeah envoy should definitely go I think I guess envoy is different I guess undo clerics maybe better than this all these are one oh, this is a one two one two is probably better. I feel like I want Rip. Cutting Thalia is probably fine. How many creatures? It's 29 creatures. I don't really have an educated or informed opinion on Storm, so... I would tell you to defer to people like Caleb Shiro who spent a lot more time playing the archetype. King Jester, thanks for the five on three sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I wasn't even wasn't even aware that there was a was a noxious revival in storm. Like there, that noxious revival got cut from storm. Seems like not amazing, but it's fine. I guess it's like triple one drop open right? It's like champion and uh, and a hot envoy. They carry your back, folks. It really sucks when it gets out of whack. How long are we expecting the stream to be today? I was planning to go for seven or eight hours, but if my back stays savage all day, it might we might not run that long. Always yes, always yield. Horn and I rate. Jokes on you! I didn't. I didn't want those creatures, anyways. Neener, neener, neener. Uh, I require more money for blue white control because blue white control is almost always, in addition to being kind of tedious to play, it uh, it's almost always a two plus hour league. Whereas a lot of modern decks can be done in. An hour to 90 minutes, so you want to make me play a league that takes twice as long, you got to pay me extra because I could be playing more decks otherwise. 
And there are a lot of people that don't really enjoy watching Blue Light Control. Happy New Year, Precision. All right, well, that's like the Stone Cold Perfects as far as their deck is concerned. Like, it's like, what is it literally? It was literally one, two, three. It was quad removal spell into Bedlam Reveler. Gas back up. Woof. Thanks for the consistently great content. Thanks for shipping your Prime this way again this month. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me employed here. All right. Well, they got one of my return the ranks. Yeah, maybe the problem is that, like, this Bedlam Reveler puts them in a position to start pressuring me. So if they have if they have more removal spells, I'm not gonna have time to get return the rank set up. It's it's impossible to know what the new format's gonna look like. Like it takes like one good card to like shape a format, and like they're gonna have a bunch of new cards getting added to the format here soon. Happy New Year! What's going on, Razor Rocks? Thanks for the thanks for the two months. Thanks for re and welcome back. So, like, if they have, like, any more removal spells in their hand here, we're basically just dead to right. Yeah. Yep. Pick it up. Pick it in. Let me begin. My clairvoyance to show me you'll have a better year here on Twitch. That's exciting. Actually, actually, I just got an email back from uh, a person I'm working with at Twitch that uh, we're going to get um, some time on the front page of Twitch later this month. Every Monday, starting on the 7th for January, my channel will be up on the front page of Twitch. You know, and this is, again, just like one of the worst things about playing Interact against discard, discard decks in Modern is that... You basically just keep any hands that have lands and spells, so. Like, obviously, I'd prefer to have a one drop on one. I'd prefer to have a two drop that gets bigger over time, but this is definitely a keep. Just, like, have lands to cast my spells. Happy 2019, Daniel. We, we survived another year. Definitely need a green source here because we have the company in our hand. White source is good as well for the return of the ranks. Uh, the deck queue page on my website contains everything that's going to be coming up on stream. I think I'm gonna try uh, standing up. Let's see if that makes me twinge a little less here. Let's just play our cards on curve and see how it goes. I think I pulled something at. The oh. I think I pulled something at the gym yesterday. I don't know what I did exactly. Is there an easy way to tell whether a deck list was viewer submitted or your card creation slash card choices? Yeah, if it's if it's one of my decks, usually it should have a link to my website usually. Or there's no link. If there's no link, usually that means it's waiting to be built. I'm just getting picked apart again here. I 
Yeah, yeah, I haven't, uh... I had some consistent back issues a while back, and then I got the standing desk and a better chair. And it helped a lot. And this is, I feel like, getting picked apart here really kind of highlights one of the big issues with an archetype like this, which is this deck, like, consistently feels too slow to compete with the really linear decks in the format, and it also just gets picked apart by the interactive decks in the format, which, like, leads you to the question, like, what are we really good against if we're, like, getting picked apart by the interactive decks and we're losing the decks that are faster than us? Sure, sure, MW. I guess that's I guess that's fair. But like like at the same time, like their question like asking me to justify decision to deck list, like also just goes directly against the stream rules, which is don't don't ask me to shoot down all of your ideas. Instead tell me why they're good. Like, we're in this game until my opponent drops a Bedlam Reveler, and then I just get buried deep in the ground. How did I get picked for the spotlight? Um, so the when you are a partnered Twitch streamer and you get large enough, they they coordinate with you to get you in a rotation to get you on the front page of Twitch. So when this started becoming big enough to be my job, they reached they reached out. So when it became big enough to be my job, I also started making Twitch more money, obviously. So like they reached out and got me on a list. I've been waiting for a couple of months now. And yeah, actually, the the mon Mondays for the rest of the month are going to be all Magic Arena because the um, the front page spotlight's going to be Monday morning when I'd normally be doing Magic Online, and I'm not going to be doing Magic Online when we get highlighted on the front page. Like, Magic in general is going to be a tough sell keeping people engaged, but Magic Online would make it impossible. Applegate, thanks for the eight-month resub. I appreciate the two-thirds of a year. Welcome back. I think this game's probably pretty over. We'll hang out for a second, because, like, I guess I could rip a company or return the ranks if they have Stone Cold nothing. So, we're losing this race at the moment, but, like, any number of allies drawn, like, kind of swings it back in our favor since the Andu Cleric gains his health. I don't know. I don't know about blow up. I don't I don't expect to get too much bigger than we are. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Once upon a time I, I would have told you that like front page spotlight probably doesn't matter much for magic, but with arena that's kind of starting to change. Arena's definitely opened a lot of doors for this kind of stuff. No, Jeff, Jeff, last night, I'm a terribly boring and dry person. I have two kids. I, uh, I spent last night watching the beginning of season three of Tra Travelers on Netflix. And then I, uh, I played a little bit of Skyrim on my Switch and I played some, some Warhammer TCG on my tablet. It wasn't that terribly exciting, exciting night. I am currently in a little bit of pain because my back is a little bit messed up from the gym. I did something that I shouldn't have there, apparently. All right, one collected company, please. Does that keep us alive? That does keep us alive. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Staying alive, staying alive. Do, 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 do. I really like travel. It's sweet. I like, I like sci-fi style things, so it's good for that. All right, so I get I get some free attacks here. We're dead to a lightning bolt. Not much I can do about that. It does it does mean if they don't have bolt though, we have a shot. You know, if they don't have a way to kill us here, any any ally actually, if they don't have a way to kill us here, we have them dead on board, right? Because I like, ally encampment pick this back up and then replay it.
All right, well, that attack bodes well for us. Means we're not dead here, hopefully. I think I'm going to take a draw step for the turn to start here because I would prefer to not get blown up by a removal spell. Woof. All right, well, if they have a removal spell, we're dead. All right, they don't, they don't have a removal spell, they lose. Ah, good, good sequencing here on their part. Good sequencing. All right, red or white ally, please. Rats. So even if I attack with both of these, they block block and then I take six in the air. So we're dead. Yeah, the big, big brain removal spell. Exactly. That was good. That was good sequencing on the opponent's part, right? Yeah, the fact the fact that they didn't have a Bedlam Reveler to gas back up gave us a little bit of a shot there. Almost, almost squeaked back into it. Feel a little bit better standing than sitting, so I'll probably do a lot of standing today. Torchin, Torchin Moto Dollars, like Y2K be coming up, yo. So, I'm so glad we survived Y2K, Chad. Do you remember when that was a thing? People thought that was gonna be a thing. That's funny. I was a child when that when that was when that when people thought that was gonna be a thing. It was really funny. All right, turn one, flooded strand. Think I'm gonna fetch like there a control deck and leave extra basics in for now. More Bezo bucks. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too, the freak. Welcome, welcome to 2019. You made it to the other side. Thanks for the quarter of a year. Always yes, always yes. Always yield, always yield. Laying down desks. I believe we refer to those as beds. Happy New Year, negative. Condemn. I was like, all right, path, path is fine for me. I guess I guess Dahlia would have worked out a little better there. Spreading seas, rude. It's been a hot second since I've seen a since I've seen a spreading seas inside of control. I'm gonna go ahead and play Thalia out here since it looks like they're playing a control deck. Hopefully, slow them down a touch. My body is ready to be terminist. Yeah. Yeah, magic. Yeah, tough beat. Modern is as modern does. Yep. Terminus. Terminus is what makes blue white control really go, in my opinion. This is this is a kind of a brutal format, and you know, having having access to terminus gives you this kind of unfair thing to be doing in blue white control to catch you back up on board states where otherwise pretty far behind. Well, that's not good for our hero. So if I draw two allies here, my battle singer can kill their Jace and then we can concede to a Terminus next turn. So that's nice. So I draw two mana ally, one mana or two mana ally. I am, I am excited. I am excited to concede the game next turn. Play my survivalist. 
Triggers on the stack. Always yes. Always yes. Always yield. Always yield. Evangel's pretty bad in this matchup. They don't really have creatures that you're attacking through, so... That'll be one of our cuts when we head to the sideboard for sure. Probably bring in the black ally that drains them a little bit. Get some reach in the deck, so to speak. Wow, they didn't have another Terminus. So that's really good for us. Means we, means we have a chance. Take a chance on me. Do, 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 do. I actually think one of the things that makes the standard format really good is the fact that there aren't format unconditional wraths. I think the fact that we have things like Ritual of Soot and that like the unconditional sweepers cost five is a good thing for the format. They are attacking the crap out of our mana. I mean, blue-white control definitely has its problems, but I think I think Terminus is a pretty must-play card for blue-white control. I think, like I said, I think Terminus just gives you this catch-up element. Like, you're always going to have wrong half problems in a fair deck. Like, saying, like, you're not going to play the card because of wrong half problems, I think is some nonsense. All right, y'all ready to get, like, cryptic tap drawn for the next two to three turns? All right. So, sure. And they can't, they can't reasonably unsummon me here. Weird sequencing on their part, they'd path and then Jace. Yeah, yeah, we're doing every, every weekday is gonna be, that's, that's very castable. Every weekday is going to be some Magic Online followed by some Magic Arena. So all the decks I'm planning to play today are listed in the stream title, including what format they are. All standard that we play on this channel is done on Magic Arena. You can also find my approximate schedule on my website. Which includes what formats I'm playing on which days. Try to stay organized around these parts. So they're technically not dead on board because they have the Celestial Colonnade. Yep. I have, I have no more lands. They refuse to stop sculpting our minds. Why, why do they sculpt so much chat? Why do they sculpt? I mean, Blue Black has answers to Carnage Tyrant. They're just like Dire Fleet Poisoner and that other card. If I upgrade to a tier three sub, can I bump a deck in the queue to be played today? Uh, for standard, yes. I'm not gonna shift up the modern schedule today though. All right, well, they had nothing and then they died. God bless. Um, our sideboard here isn't fantastic for this matchup. I definitely don't want path and I'm like leaving in two evangels. Return to the ranges isn't very good, right? Like their sweepers are bottoming our creatures and exiling stuff, so that seems fine. Uh, there actually isn't a deck list in the deck queue for Spicy Tuna, 
Spicy tuna is a blue red, a blue red. Uh, it's mono blue splash red. Is what it is. It's mono. It's mono blue splash red. Past past Jeff had to write an article tonight, so he didn't get quite everything organized. Past Jeff had to write an article last night, so he didn't quite get everything organized. As I usually am. Maybe I'm supposed to lead on unclaimed territory there, since I know they have... Since I know they're a spreading seas deck, it's very possible. Hey, Voria. Happy Frankenstein teen hoogs. Thanks for the 10 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Play more aggro. I mean, we're being aggressive right now. Aggro is less popular than... Than aggressive decks on average for sure. Or than mid range and control decks on average for sure. How long does this legal go up on YouTube? Uh, probably like six or seven hours. Depends on how long I stream for today. Things don't get added to the YouTube channel until I'm all done for the day. And this is why, like, like playing against blue-white control with creature decks in this format is so dry. It's just like, well, if they don't draw Terminus, I'm going to win the game. And if they do draw Terminus, I'm dead in a not-close manner. Please, please don't Terminus me. Fingers crossed. All right, dodge the bullet again here. They're at 13. This, uh, the survivalist is going to add three more power to the table next turn. We're going to attack for 11. Yeah, all my all my stuff gets uploaded same day. When I when I sign off, everything's everything's published to YouTube in like I don't know, half hour, forty five minutes. I don't I don't do a lot of post editing. Or we're, we're we're a fan of volume on this channel, not not like heavily edited. For Jun mid-range, please. Happy to be able to upgrade. What's going on, Gorx? Thanks for the three months. Yeah, I don't know when they're when they're changing the. I don't know when they're changing the. Uh, what's it called? When they are changing the uh, the deck formatting or the the streak formatting? Sorry. Pretty far behind at this point. I guess they just like put these out. The other thing too is like YouTube doesn't make any money really. So like spending time editing things for YouTube is mostly a waste for me. Like your, your videos on YouTube have to be getting like five or even six digits worth of views before it like gets you a good return on investment, where it's just like streaming more on Twitch does make more money. All right, all right, they're at 10. This game is done. All right, they're at 10, we have no board and they have a Jace. Yes, YouTube, YouTube does help pull Twitch viewers in, that's definitely the case. I, I agree with that. The the low effort YouTubing that I do is 100% worthwhile. Happy New Year, relative. It's the, best, it's the best way to describe what I do. Negator, thank you for the 14 month resub and the tier three. I really appreciate that. If you'd like to bump a deck already in the queue, feel free to just drop me a message or let me know in chat. Or if there's a new deck you'd like to add, feel free to submit the Google form as always. One drop, two drop, Collect a company, sign me up. It's 
So I think I just be resource efficient and play the healer here. Keeping keeping the one drop in my hand is also nice because it means that if I draw a two drop next turn, I can go one drop plus two drop on three, which is ideal. This also like has pseudo two power since it drains every turn. Beast frozen, catch you later. Two mana dork, two mana dork, one mana dork. That's that's like exactly what I asked for, right? Same thing. Nah, I think that I, I'd actually rather they spread my cavern than spread my ally encampment, I think. Because ally encampment potentially generates me card advantage later. Like here, right? Like they're gonna they're gonna detention sphere one of my envoys here, and I get to pick it up with ally encampment. So that's uh that's a, actually a pretty good exchange for us. It's a good draw as well here. Always yes, always yield, always yield. I really hope we get that kind of interface on Magic Arena at some point. The the always yield, always yes functions are very, very good on Magic Online. Yes, we are gonna be we're gonna be on the Tron side of the the modern matches later today. underestimated power of friendship all right i mean like like i said they don't draw terminus we kill them it's gonna be a cryptic command turn all right fog resolves no terminus are you dead? Scale. Scale of one to dead. What are we working with here? There's really no reason to collect a company here. Like three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like they're dead. They're dead on board. So it's going to hang tight. Enter combat. Propose, propose lethal. Yeah, I guess I guess that's a thing. If I company at end of turn, we potentially kill them through one removal spell. And now like they have snap cryptic available to them. Okay. Well now now this company is potentially lethal with the uh with the healer in play. Do I YOLO it? I think I just YOLO it. The old, the old collected company in response to the sweeper. Kill you. What was it? Eat for distance, Kobe for accuracy. Are definitely, they're definitely going the distance. They're going full speed. They're all alone in this time of need. They're racing and pacing and plotting the calls. Do 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 do. Doesn't finding two guys kill them even if you don't have the healer in play? Not necessarily, right? Is it necessarily? Do any any two kill them? Any any two creatures are maybe lethal there. I don't actually know. It's a good question. I guess I guess I'll all again. It's pretty good. One drop into some good twos. Let's do it. Let's do it.
Sibian Spirit Guide to the Best Driver, because he goes beep beep. Ain't that the truth? But it also went to six. I'm gonna bottom that. Would like more impactful cards after the first turn of the game. Envoy's like a fine turn one play, but it's not a card that you want to draw. Unless your board's really big. Cast Jackal Pup. Go. Tap breeding pool deal. Yeah, it could be could be infect with a slow start. Could be could be some kind could be spirits, could be some kind of brew. I think the most common wimps up teeth breeding pool deck at the moment is Bant Spirits. What's going on, Recon Bravo? Welcome, welcome. Happy New Year. Confirmed to be infect. This match is probably really bad for us. Like, Andu Cleric doesn't have a text box. It technically triggers the rest of the idiots, but it's not not fantastic for us for sure. Of course, Bravo team. <clears throat> the fact that we're on the play here and have like double dork is good, but like we could just die this turn. If we don't die this turn, we're attacking for potentially lethal next turn, right? Because of the uh, the battle singer. Mutagenic growth, me baby. Welcome to Thunderdome. I like this from the opponent, just like recognizing that they have to make us have it here and we don't have it, so we're dead. I think I just board in the healers over the Evangel. Because I just want like faster things. Things that help me race. Bring in our last path and some other go fast creatures. Oh, oh, the back's a little bit better while standing, but still not, still not perfect. Now, I don't think Damping Sphere is good enough here. Like, if we're spending our turn two playing Damping Sphere rather than rather than like adding pressure to the table. I think it's just like not worthwhile. So Cavern of Soul on ally on one. Probably human actually, these are all human. So I guess this is a, uh, this is not a human. So we'll name ally and play Hada Free Blade. And then we'll probably Blade Master on two. Just like so get our things to get bigger going. 
If we draw a third land, we get to go champion into battle singer on three, which is nice. Morning, Matthew. Doing all right. Messed my back up a little bit yesterday, so a little bit of a little bit of pain. Path to Exile is a fantastic pickup here. Gives us a little bit of interaction. What's going on, Scar? Good morning. Happy New Year. So this is this is one of our one of our more aggressive starts in the play, right? Like if if reasonable pressure into reasonable pressure into path to exile isn't good enough, like not much is going to be. Uh, if you can hear the siren that's going off outside of my house, it's 10 a.m. on the first Tuesday of the month, which means that's the emergency test for the tornado siren in my area. Welcome to the cornfields. Enjoy your stay. So like now I haven't drawn another land, so I like have to choose between whether or not I want to like add pressure or hold path up. And I think I'm pretty obligated to hold path up here. What if it's not a test? That would be an incredible, an incredibly awkward moment if there was a tornado at 10 a.m. on a Tuesday, the first Tuesday of the month. Yep. If I was the tornado, that's what I'd come. Yeah, it's probably it's probably just on like an automated timer that does the first Tuesday every month. So uh, this is this is on ally, not human. So if this was if this was on human, I'd cast the champion of the parish, but it's on ally because I needed to cast the healer. Yeah, this is this is unfortunate. They just have like infinite creatures this game. So I didn't path their bladed agent inside of combat because if they have something like blossoming defense or binds the vast foot, I get into a lot of trouble that way. Ally encampment's a pretty good draw. Let's go ahead and play this battle singer out. Slippery Simeon Guide. Thanks for the brand new Prime support. There's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch. Thanks for supporting mine this month with that. No. Healer Healer is a Vampire Cleric ally. Hey, P. Cardon. Thanks for shipping your Bezo Bucks this way this month. I appreciate that. Thanks for keeping me employed here. Am I willing to trade this for an Infect creature? I think I am. I think I am, I think I am, I think I am, I think I am. Kiki Jeek, thank you for the thank you for the five month resub. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. But we're out there having a good holiday. Do 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 do. Alright, put you to one. Here's here's hoping they can't deal seven in fact through a path to exile. So we're not casting this path to exile unless they're attacking for lethal. Well, there might be there might be an attack for lethal in our future. So if they have a protection spell and a plus four, we are dead. Is Infect too slow for modern? No, Infect's actually one of the fast the, the more consistent faster decks in modern. It has people dead by turn three pretty often. Between Glister Elf, two mana creatures, and pump spells. All right, kill me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be done with this one. This deck. Uh, this deck feels really mediocre. I think. I think that's probably the last time we'll 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 jam this archetype on here. Like I said, it basically. It lined up similar to how I was expecting it to go. We 
we're just we're too slow and don't have enough meaningful interaction against the decks that are faster than us like infect storm kci stuff like that and we also don't really have the tools to like grind out control decks like we beat we beat just kai but that was just by the merit of them like not miracling a terminus in six turns in game three like if they had had that card at any point before turn six we'd have we'd have been pretty dumpstered so this is just like when i see decks like this i often just think like people that are looking at decks like this they should just give standard a try like these more these more mid-range aggressive decks that don't consistently have people dead by turn three are just better in standard because it's a little bit slower more forgiving format than modern tends to be on average all right, what are we what are we doing next? We're gonna wrap up our modern portion with some Tron here next.